So good evening and welcome to today's class. Today we're going to look at page 69. We're going to focus on exercise number two, which is our grammar exercise. And we're going to look specifically at A, B and C, but we'll talk about letter D at the end, okay? So first of all, let's have a look at letter A. Can you see? We're going to talk about verbs of the senses. Now, it says complete these sentences from the listening script with the correct form of one of the following verbs or verb phrases. Listen and check. So we've got to use look twice. Look as if, look at, look like and see. Shall we listen? And let's see if you can fill in the gaps. 4.9 1 It doesn't look like a modern cot. 2 It looks as if it might be a hospital cot from, say, 50 years ago. Mm -hmm. Three. But when you look at it a bit more closely, you notice... Four. But if you start looking, you'll start seeing things which look strange. Now, have you got some answers? Well, let's check. Let's correct, shall we? Here we go. So she says, it doesn't look like a modern cot, no? It looks as if it might be a hospital cot from, say, 50 years ago. But when you look at it a bit more closely, you notice. Now, number four, but if you start looking, you'll start seeing things which look strange. Did you get those? Well done. I'm sure you did. Let's have a look now at exercise B. It says, answer the questions with a partner. I'll be your partner, of course. Number one, what's the difference between look as if and look like? And what's the difference between look at and see? Number two, apart from sight, what are the other four senses? And number three, what verbs do you associate with the other senses? Well, let's have a look. Now, the difference between look as if and look like. Well, look is purely grammatical, no? Look as if is followed by a clause. It looks as if it might be a hospital cot, no? Looks like is normally followed by a noun. It doesn't look like a modern cot. However, in informal English, look like can also be followed by a clause. It looks like it might be a modern cot. But I would say be careful with that because some people would consider that a, a, a mistake, no? So just be careful there. I would recommend look as if followed by a clause, no? Then we've got the difference between look at and see. No? Look at means to turn your eyes in a particular direction. It's a conscious action. No? We look at a view, a photo, etc. But see means to become aware of or understand somebody or something just by using your eyes. No, It's not necessarily a conscious action. You can see something without looking at it. Now see can also be used like watch, for example, a match, a TV program, especially in the past. Not necessarily limited to the past, but it's very typical to say, oh, did you see the match last night? No, very typical, but not exclusively in the past. No? Now, question number two, the other four senses. Well, here they come, smell, hearing, taste and touch. And question number three, verbs associated with the other ones. Excuse me. Let's get that back. Excuse me. Are, for example, smell. We have smell and sniff. Hearing, we have hear, listen and sound. No, it sounds like thunder. Taste is clearly taste and touch can be touch or feel. No, So those would be the verbs associated with the other senses. Now let's look at exercise number three. We'll go to our grammar bank to learn more about the verbs of the senses and to practice them. So the first group. The first group that we're going to look at are hear, see, smell, feel, and taste. Now, as we see just under the box, these are the five basic verbs. No? Hear, see, smell, feel, and taste. No? So let's have a look. I can hear a noise downstairs. Can you see the blue circle at the top of the painting? I can smell burning. Are you sure you turned off the gas? I can feel a draft. Careful the pronunciation there. Draft. Corriente, no? G-H like an F. Draft. Are you, is there a window open? I can't taste the garlic in this soup. Now, let's have a look at our explanation. Are you ready? So, the five basic verbs. Excuse me. The five basic verbs of the senses are... Hear, see, smell, feel, and taste. Now, these are stative verbs. 
That means that they are non-action verbs and that they are not normally used in the continuous form, no? like all stative or non-action verbs. No? So what do we do in this case if we want to express an idea of especially present continuous? Excuse me. What we would do is we would normally use can with these verbs to refer to something happening at the moment now instead of a present continuous as in all the examples above now i can smell gas not i'm smelling gas i can see the board not i'm seeing the board now hear and see we've got to be careful with hear and see because they can also be dynamic verbs and they can be used in the continuous but with a different meaning so let's compare I've been hearing good things about you recently. Well, that doesn't necessarily mean using my ears, no? That means I've been receiving information. And I'm seeing James tonight means I have arranged to meet him, no? So I'm meeting him, I'm seeing him, I'm meeting him. So can you see how the meaning changes there when we use it in the continuous? Now, let's have a look with see or hear, hear or see, plus the infinitive or the gerund. Now here, again, there is a slight meaning change. Let's have a look. I saw the girl play a piece by Chopin. No, I saw the man hit his dog. Okay, number two, exactly the same sentences, but with ing. I heard the girl playing a piece. No, or I saw the man hitting his dog. Now, here what we need to remember is the following. We often use see or hear plus an object plus a verb and the infinitive, no? A verb in the infinitive. This means you heard or you saw the whole action, no? The beginning, the middle and the end. We can also use hear plus see, hear or see plus an object plus the gerund. And in this case, the meaning is slightly different, no? It can mean one of two things, no? It means that you heard or you saw an action in progress or a repeated action. Now, the distinction above also replies to verbs such as watch, notice, listen, and feel. Now, so essentially, if I hear or see or watch the whole action, I use my infinitive. Now, if I hear or see part of the action, no, or the action is repeated, I use my gerund. Okay? Now, let's move on to look, feel, smell, sound, taste, plus an adjective, plus a noun. Now here, what we need to remember is the key is going to be what comes after. Okay, just remember that. So let's have a look at number one. She looks Spanish. These shoes feel uncomfortable. That smells delicious. This music sounds awful. And this taste, this soup tastes a bit salty. Ha ha ha. Now, let's have a look at number one. So obviously, when we talk about the impression something or someone gives us through the senses, we use look, feel, smell, sound, and taste. Now, after these verbs, we can use, like in number one, an adjective. Now, can you see? An adjective. Looks Spanish, feel uncomfortable, smells delicious, etc. Now, let's look at number two, because in number two, there is a slight modification. Now, excuse me, there is a slight modification no so we use look like sounds like tastes like and what comes after you look like your mother it sounds like thunder it tastes like tea not coffee and if we look at number two we use like plus a noun no so you look like plus a noun. You sound like, plus a noun. Look like your mother, sound like thunder. Now, we do have to be careful in number four. We'll have a look especially at uh, taste or smell. But generally speaking, we use look like, feel like, sound like, no? Plus a noun. Okay. Now, let's look at number three, because again, number three has a slight modification. Look as if or look as though. Sound as if or sound as though. Can you see that change? So she looked as if or as though she had been crying. It sounds as if or as though someone is trying to open the door. Well, let's have a look down here. As if or as though, plus a clause. No? So she looked as if she had been crying. It sounds as though someone is trying to open the door, plus a clause. No? So far, so good. 
And number four, again, is a little bit special. Let's have a look at number four. This smells of garlic, or this tastes of garlic. This smells like garlic, or this tastes like garlic. Now let's have a look at number four down here. Compare smell of and taste of and smell like and taste like. No? So it tastes or it smells of garlic means it has the taste or the smell of garlic. It tastes or it smells like garlic means it has a similar taste or a similar smell to garlic, but it probably isn't garlic. Okay, can you see there? So it's like garlic, no, similar to garlic, but probably not. Okay, and finally, we have the verb seem. Can you see? Let's have a look. You seem worried, number one, is something wrong? Number two, you seem to be a bit down today. Are you okay? The waiter seems to have made a mistake with the bill. And number three, it seemed like a good idea at the time, but in fact it wasn't. It seems as if or seems as though every time I clean the car, it rains. Now again, let's analyze our use. So it says, we can use seem and look to talk about the impression something gives us. Okay, so you seem worried, no? Is the impression I get from the way you are behaving? Your voice, your actions, but you look worried. I get this impression from your face, no? So it's purely something I can see, no? Now, after seeing, we can use, like number one, an adjective. You seem worried. An infinitive, which can be simple, perfect, or continuous. No, number two, you seem to be a bit down today. The waiter seems to have made a mistake. And we can use like plus a noun, or as if or as though, plus a verb phrase, which is essentially a clause. No, it seems like a good idea. There's my noun, a good idea. It seems as if or as though every time I clean the car, it rains. And very, very, very important, let's underline it in red, seem is not used in the continuous form. Now, shall we practice? Let's do some exercises. Now, excuse, oops, excuse me. I'm a bit butterfingers today. Do you know that expression, butterfingers? No, and you're a bit clumsy. Well, I'm butterfingers every day. Well, let's have a look at exercise A. Right tick or wrong cross? No? Correct the mistakes in the highlighted phrase. I'm smelling something funny in here. What on earth is it? No, I can smell something funny. Now, remember, we use can instead of the present continuous. Now, I'm going to give you one minute. Pause the video because when you come back, we'll be correcting. Are you ready? Okay, shall we check? Now, so first of all, let's check which ones are correct or incorrect. Now, oh, so number one is correct. No, Kerry says she hasn't been feeling well recently. Number two is correct. We could hardly sleep at all as we could hear the wind howling in the trees all night. Number five is correct. No, I think we should send the wine back. It tastes like vinegar. And number seven is correct. Raquel and you seem to be getting on very well last night. What did you think of her? Now, let's have a look at the ones we need to change. Well, in number three, let's see. Number three means I actually heard the bomb explode. Well, I think in this case it makes sense. No, because if a bomb explodes, you don't hear part of it or a repeated action. No, you hear the beginning, the middle and the end. Explode. Now, we need to correct number four. No, it sounds off. No, no, no. It sounds like. No, it sounds similar to, but I'm not sure. Very good. Number six, we need to correct. It's feeling more like plastic. Well, of course, not the continuous. It feels more like plastic. So far, so good? Excellent. Well, then let's look at exercise B. Now, exercise B says circle the right verb form. Tick if both are possible. Now again, pause the video, do the exercise. When you come back, we'll correct. Here we go, are you ready? So, number one is essentially the only one where both are correct. He looked very angry about something. He seemed very angry, no? In number two, it makes more sense to say it looks as if it's going to rain very soon, no? Because probably there are dark clouds in the sky, no? Number three, it doesn't seem possible, no? That 10 years have passed since we last met. Number four, Jane is looking very tired, don't you think? Seem never used in the continuous, no? And number five, you look 
much more like your father than your mother. You've got his eyes. That's purely what I am used, no, using based on your face. Now, and finally, let's have a look at exercise C. Complete the sentences with one word. Now again, pause the video. Do the exercise, because right now we're going to correct. Let's see. So number one, this tastes a bit like a soup my mother used to make. What's in it? Number two, I haven't met the boss yet. I've only spoken to him on the phone. He seems quite nice, though. Number three, I assume she's gone out because I heard the door shut or close. We could also use close there about five minutes ago. And again, I think it's better here to use the infinitive now because if the door closes, I think you hear at the beginning, the middle of, and the end of that action. No? Number four, the engine sounds as if... I will also accept as though, of course, as if or as though there's something wrong with it. I think we should stop. Number five, my mother's favorite perfume is one that smells of roses. Apparently, it's made from thousands of petals. Number six, we were walked through the streets. As we walked, pardon, as we walked through the streets, we saw lots of young children asking tourists for money. And I think here the ING is better because perhaps it is a repeated action, no? Because it's lots of children, it's not just one, no? And number seven, could you possibly speak up a bit? I can't hear you very well, no? So remember, feel free to use the WhatsApp group, no? To resolve any doubts or to ask any questions that might arise from our verbs of the senses. Now let's go back to page 69 because I'm going to tell you my dream. And my dream is for us to do exercise D. Ask and answer the questions with a partner as a speaking exercise in our WhatsApp group. If you're brave enough to record yourself, make my dream come true. Let's look at the questions. Are there any paintings or images that you like or dislike looking at because of how they make you feel? Mm, interesting. If you could look like a celebrity, which celebrity would you choose and why? Mm. What makes a voice sound attractive or unattractive to you? Are there any sounds or kinds of music that you don't like hearing because they make you feel uncomfortable? Are there any foods you like because of their smell or their texture rather than their taste? What kinds of perfume or cologne? Perfume for the ladies, cologne for the gentlemen. Do you really like or dislike on yourself or on other people? Why? Would you be prepared to touch these creatures in a zoo? Why or why not? A lion, a lizard, a parrot, a rat, a snake, a tarantula? Are there certain materials you love to wear or never wear because of the way they feel? Now, that's all for today. Remember, make my dreams come true. Only you can help me with that. Bye-bye. See you soon.